Wrestling fans are more than just fans. They bring their own personality to the shows and sometimes make WWE even more fun to watch. Not long after making his return to WWE, Goldberg was making his way to the ring. One fan was really excited to see the WCW legend and ripped off his shirt as the master of the jackhammer made his entrance. You just know that guy planned on doing that before he even got to the show. WWE fans have never been huge on Eva Marie, and when the redhead began competing in NXT, fans really didn't like her. While most fans would simply boo or chant things at her, another fan decided to take a different approach. In the main event of NXT, Eva Marie took on Bayley for the NXT Women's Championship. Rather than watch the match, a fan in the front row decided to read a book, Chris Jericho's book to be exact. The fan kept reading throughout the entire match until Bayley had won. That's one way to say you don't like someone. In 2016, Braun Strowman was on a rampage in WWE. One of his victims was Sin Cara, and while the luchador was getting the snot kicked out of him, at least one fan was having some fun. In the back row, a WWE fan had some kind of dab attack going on, which is the most 2016 thing ever. It's not uncommon for wrestlers to throw their shirts or other merchandise into the crowd. Fans love this, or at least most fans do. Before a match against CM Punk on Raw, John Cena threw his shirt into the crowd like normal, only to have it thrown right back at him. Cena threw it back into the crowd, and the fans again threw it right back at him. What makes this so crazy is that rain-worn John Cena shirts can be sold for thousands of dollars, yet the fans still threw the shirt back into the ring. But as the Joker would say, It's not about money, it's about sending a message. Usually, it was the New Day throwing pancakes to the fans, but on an episode of SmackDown, the roles were reversed. A fan in the crowd grabbed one of the New Day's pancakes and threw it into Big E's face. E seemed to be actually impressed and gave the fan the box of bootios. During one of Enzo Amore's signature promos, a fan saw an opportunity for some fun and took it. The certified G threw off his wig, which was caught by a man standing nearby. The guy threw the wig on and played it up for the camera a little bit. While wrestling at a non-televised WWE show, Rhea Ripley was was having fun with the fans and giving out high fives. One fan probably had a bit too much to drink and accidentally spilled his beverage onto Ripley's chest. Speaking of too much to drink, I think this referee may have been a little out of it too. During an episode of Monday Night Nitro, Kevin Nash was in a gauntlet match. He started dishing out jackknife power bombs, and despite Nash not covering his opponents, the ref counted the pin anyways. However, while this was all going on, two fans were putting on their own show. One fan in the back row lifted up his friend and put him in a torture rack. A security guard made them stop, but it was still a funny moment. Hey, they said don't try this at home, but they never said you couldn't try it at the show. One thing you should never try is attacking a wrestler. Some fans did and were unfortunately successful. To see what happened, watch this video.